In this video, I'm going to build an hours worked report that allows you to see what hours your employees are working. Uh, right now, I have here in the pivot table um, the revenue um, by or the transactions that were received by employee. So let's go ahead and add in our hours. Change this around. Um, and made it count, so we want to summarize this by sum. Okay, so obviously this is wrong, right? I mean, this is for this is by day, so the hours worth wouldn't be 72 hours a day. So let's go into our, our detailed data and see what's going on here. So for this day, you can see there were multiple transactions that came in, like per employee, but the hours worked were only eight. So we want to basically take the distinct or the max or the average of that so that we only get one value. So let's go ahead and come in here and we're going to summarize this by average. And so now we get eight hours a day. And let's go ahead and take out our revenue. Okay, so that's looking more like a um, uh, an hour's work report. And here I have two um, control boxes at the top that are have VBA in it that you can download the worksheet to get this. And so if I want to change my date range to, um, let's see, only a few days maybe, you can see that I can choose my date and then my pivot table below is updated correspondingly. Now let's go ahead and put in some conditional formatting to show the hours that are less than eight. Um, so because there may be some potential um, work related issues because our employees aren't working eight hours a day. So I'm going to go to conditional formatting, new rule, and we're going to select all cells showing average um, average of hours value and we're going to use a formula remember the AND formula that I used earlier in one of the other videos basically if these conditions are true so um, this is going to be D14 is D14 a number? And then is D14 less than A? And our format is going to be, we're going to highlight it red, and we're going to fill it red, click OK. And it automatically um, does our formatting. It shows our zero hours here are red. So if we expand our pivot table to a greater day range, we visually can see where we're less than eight hours a day. Um, and then let's go ahead and above here, uh, let's show the days of the week um, rather than the date. So we're going to make this um, equal uh, D13. And then we're going to format this. Custom and then mix DDD. Okay. Great. So that, that gives us our days of the week. So maybe we want our date and then our day of the week. And then I'm going to hide this. Let's hide these. Great. So we have a nice little um, hours management report. Um, that shows us our days of the week and um, our hours, our date, by employee, um, by location. Let's drag this on in case our pivot table expands. Notice how now we're getting values there that we don't really want, but we want, but we want to have that in case we expand our t pivot table for a greater date range. So let's put an if statement in here. If D13 equals blank 
type in blank else d13. All right, so let's drag that over. I should fix this. Great. Okay. All right, so we have a nice little hours hours worked report here using utilizing Excel pivot tables.